I have to tell you that I've never liked the look of our, our patio awning fabric. Even though we've had it for over 13 years and been using it like this, I've just never really liked it. I mean, with these big blue stripes and stuff on here, they don't match anything on the, uh, the side or the, you know, the look of the RV. But it's been serving its purpose and I've been keeping it together even though it's been definitely wearing out and taking a beating over the years. I've covered large sections with various uh, roof ceiling tapes and to cover up holes and parts that were definitely wearing in the awning. The good news is that it is a DIY project to uh, replace the patio awning and the other awning fabric on your RV, but I just haven't gotten to it yet. In fact, it was a project that I'd planned to do, not this year, but last year in 2020, but 2020, and you know, a lot of other things came up, and I wanna share with you uh, what I plan to do because I've seen it done lots of times. Even my uh, father-in-law, who's not a DIY kind of guy, was able to uh, order the uh, some awning fabric for his uh, slide toppers and, uh, and get them installed without any problem. And it's because he got them from Tough Top Awnings and they make that whole process of ordering and uh, getting the right fit and the right awning fabric really easy. And they also have a lot of tutorials available to show you exactly what to do. I was able to meet Tyler uh, from Tough Top Awnings at the uh, Escapers Bash in January of 2020. You know, he did a nice little demo to uh, show how easy it is for one or possibly two people to, to install a new awning fabric on their own. Now it was really cool uh, watching Tyler from Tough Top Awnings do that uh, replacement on site at the uh, Escapers Bash last year because the awning that he was working with was exactly the same as mine. I think it's a, I think this is a Dometic awning, but uh, keep in mind that the process involved with the replacement is going to vary depending upon the type of awning hardware that you have. Somebody like Tyler's done tons and tons of these uh, replacement projects and can answer any question that you have you know about your particular installation and make sure that you actually get the right one for your system you know can you do it with one person can you get it done by yourself uh, yeah you probably could but you'd probably have a rough time and it's best to uh, have a helper an extra set of hands to help you handle these large components especially for a patio awning like this before removing the old awning fabric, what Tyler did was actually bring it down here to eye level so you can reach it and, it and it's not way up at the top of the RV and much more difficult to work with. So once it was down here at a more manageable level, the next few steps really involved uh, removing the, uh, the awning rod from the uh, end caps of the roller tube. Now there's a few uh, critical steps here that have to occur, like there's a spring mechanism in here that's uh, tightened down so that it rolls up, you know, all the way, you know, by itself, and that needs to be locked down. There's really only one dangerous point to this, and there's a spring right here that is not locking, so we do have to secure it. Something as simple as a straight pick, a 16 penny nail, cotter pin. And now it's safe. Now once it's locked, you can remove the arm and detach it from the end of the, uh, of the roller. At that point, you can safely unwind and uh, remove the, the spring assembly from the end of the roller tube. Now everything is just contained inside here and riveted on so that it involves drilling out a few rivets and then uh, removing the whole assembly from the end of the tube. Here's your dangerous spring. Dealerships, um, mobile repair people will tell you that this will take your hand off. And they're telling you that because they want to do the job for you when it's a fairly manageable job. Now once the, uh, the end uh, spring assemblies are all uh, removed, you can take this bar and actually secure it up to the side to get it out of the way. And then with one person holding the fabric and the other person on the other end of the roller tube, you can simply slide it out and just totally remove it and set it aside. Mm -hmm. 
Now all that's left for the removal is to is to slide the uh, awning fabric out of the groove that holds it in place at the top of the RV. Anybody need a used, slightly used fabric? <laughs> Those are really the general steps to remove the awning from the RV, and you probably want to do a little cleanup before you install the new fabric. Now to make it a lot easier to get the new fabric uh, slid into those grooves both at the top of the RV and on the roller tube itself, uh, he started by lubricating all of those grooves with silicone spray just to make it a lot easier to slide in. And then you know, with the helper we're able to, to kind of line it up and slide in the tube and get it slid into that groove at the top of the RV. And then reattaching that end cap and riveting them back into place. Now let's go ahead and load the spring tension back into this unit. And what was it? 14, thank you. To retension the springs it basically involved cranking them and winding them up the same number of times uh, with the wrench than it took to untension them. <laughs> so it's, you're basically just doing it in reverse order. And also reattaching that arm to the end of the roller tubes so you can roll it all back up into place. And if you're lucky, everything lines up the first time and uh, you're almost done. All right, Derek, fingers crossed. Let's see. You're essentially done with the install at this point, and the last thing to do is just to make some final adjustments and open and close it a few times and get it centered just right, and then lock the, the awning position in at the top by putting in this screw. Well, after watching Tyler take on this project, uh, just in person, watching step-by-step, step, removing and installing the new awning, I'm pretty confident that this is something that I could do on my own, and I'm pretty confident that's something you could do as well. And uh, Tyler's really helpful also, in case you get stuck or have any questions, he's always available to, uh, to answer them and uh, help you out because he's done a lot of these installs. In fact, uh, when you call, uh, you're probably gonna get Tyler calling you back uh, with an answer. A lot of people spend hours trying to figure out what this is. All you gotta do is call me. They're a great small company, they provide a great service to us DIYers and a great product, you know, good quality awning fabric that I know a lot of people have said great things about. And let me know if, uh, if you've taken on uh, this project, let me know how it went and if you use Tough Top and what your experience has been. Sun's going down and I wanna enjoy that. I will see you in the next one. Take it easy. Oh, time to get a beer. <laughs>